And I can't see over this. Rip. Is he? Yeah. Striker. Yep. Pokemans. The Pokemans. The electric type. All right. Well, I guess this is game one. Yeah, this is game one. I don't know what matches is because they haven't switched the thing yet. Don't worry, I have the power of technology. Uh. Was, no, no, I didn't mean it. He's, he's putting it on. Okay, but I want to beat him. I can't find it. Is this? This might be a loser's match. Dexon and Splatterpuss. All right. So, um, I think we need to flip that. I think Splatterpuss is playing uh, Ness and Dexon is playing. Oh, there we go. That there happened fast. All right, so Splatterpuss playing Ness, um, Dexon playing Falco, and right now slight percentage lead by Splat uh, by Dexon. Just that backer almost killed. Got some uh, random boxes. My favorite. Um, Those are the best boxes. Those forward air. Gray ones. Dexon, ooh, tries to get the down air. Ooh, nice use of the side B though, as he was recovering, so he wasn't caught off on the wrong foot. I feel like I saw this matchup last time. I saw this stream last time. All right now, Splatterpuss taking a lot of damage, recovering low, able to get it. Ooh, but that down tilt. Down tilt taking the stop. It's kind of a, I'd say it might be a little bit of a difficult matchup um, for Falco. Considering how floaty Splatterpuss can be um, with Ness, but right now he's doing a good job of just kind of staying in. Oh, the down air doesn't get anything off of it, but he has Thexen at a very high percent. Splatterpuss himself, though, just taking just a little bit of damage every so often here. That was a nice combo to set him off stage. Getting a little bit back there. Oh, the parry. Dangerously off stage. Does he get that spike? I've seen a lot of options from Falco, just faster options, pressure, a lot of pressure, Ness not being able to really react in time, and if he does react in time, it's not in the right direction. Yeah, he was just, um, he's just having a hard time just trying to get like the space that he wants and like the ability to get in. Dexon doing a lot, a lot of uh, pressure, making it near impossible for him to do anything, really. Right. So it's up to him to really find ways to make that his advantage. Possibly going for more grabs and to um, throw combos um, like go. that. There, there we go. go. And the downer spike. We very go. well set up using that PK fire. And there's a taunt. A well-deserved taunt. But that is definitely uh, Splatopus's win condition here. Just taking advantage of the fact that his opponent wants to stay very close. And using that to get some serious damage. See, I'm feeling like, you know, now that... Splatty's kind of got on his team. Falco slows down. You know? Yeah. Falco's being a little bit more cautious. Ooh, is that gonna time. kill? That and killed. Game one. That was a reverse three stock, wasn't it? Wow, that was really well done. Because at first, I just saw the PK Thunder, and he was just using it to kind of get a little bit of extra damage. He's like, okay, that's good, that's good. He'll be able to act out of it. But he made sure to get it so that every time he hit him, it brought him more and more low and w unable to do anything, that when it hit him, he was in the perfect position for that up B kill. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we can, see the, we can see the stream live on one of the TVs, so we can see the instant replay. So we're going to game two now. Uh, Splatterpuss. We're going to Battlefield now. Yeah, he took I can see that I can see why he went for this. Um, having that or the use of platforms allows him to move around a lot better, um, and it might throw off how Splatterpuss moves around um, with his more floaty abilities. At the same time, um, we could see him use it to his advantage to maybe follow with a few down airs on stage. I would also kind of like to see. Oh my gosh, it didn't kill. It was too far away. But I would really like to see. Um, Next, it really punished that when he uses that off stage to PK Thunder. Um, I feel like that is like his prime opportunity to get early kills, so that he doesn't have to do all this chip damage beforehand. Let's see, it seems, it seems Splatty really got used to that pressure Falcon was giving in the first match. He's not letting that happen again. So, just... like, I don't like the fact that he's just opting to stay there. I guess in that case, Splatterpuss was very far off ledge, but. I feel like you kind of want to try and take advantage of that as much as possible when your opponent's off stage. Otherwise, you get these moments where it's literally there you go, where he just has free reign to recover because his up B is really hard to the counter when it's active, not when like he's still prepping it. 
He's got time to go out there and do something. Oh, here we go. Thex is getting a lot of combos in the air. Just getting all that damage. Oh, parry on the final hit of the rapid jab. Oh, oh he wanted it. I, I, I could see it. Do you see that up? That, that up air to the grab? That was very that was nice. Thexton, though, trying to show the fact that he's still in this game. He, he's ready. Ooh, nice air dodge there by Splatterpuss, making sure he stayed on stage. Just hanging on right now. Ooh, the double up tilt. Get, finally gets hit on the second one. Splatterpuss is facing. Ooh, he predicted him to was DI um, out and he used another PK fire. Using that PK thunder just to space around. Ooh, that was very nice spacing there by Splatterpuss, making sure he had that magnet out so he was able to just slowly come back to stage. Ooh, this is dangerous. Ooh. Almost saw a punish there by Thexen, but he did a very good job of uh, moving around that. Oh, nice! Might be the up t uh, up air, and Splatterpuss on his last stock. Oh, we could see some good damage. Oh, Opti just go as far as he can. Wait. Oh, he might have thought he had his jump. And he, when he tried to use it, it I think he still could have recovered that. It was just so low that maybe he just didn't feel confident of its range. But uh, maybe he didn't. You know what probably happened? Let's see what happens. Yeah. I think what probably happened here, we can see this here. I don't think he was expecting that second forward air. Because it seemed extremely risky to do in the middle of that, where he could have gotten hard punished if he missed it. But he went for it, and so Splatterpuss was like, alright, he's gonna forward air me, probably hop back to stage, save. And then he was like, no, I'll go hop in again, and then I'll just up B out with my, um, with my, uh, my floatiness. And it probably was like, well, I'm this far next to the blast zone, even if I drift, I'm gonna be so close to the bottom left of the stage. And I don't think my, uh, up B can get it, if he even knew he didn't have his jump. Because if you try to use your jump, you go, it's not there. What do you mean it's not there? And next thing you know, you're dead. It'd be like that. Alright, game three now, going to town and city. Um, definitely a lot more space for Splatterpuss to move around. And though there are platforms, they're in kind of awkward positions where they're less used for setups, like Battlefield, and more used as, like, recovery options. Which can be def- OH MY GOSH! Up off stage, but being able to get back. Up air, doesn't kill, still high enough for the blast zone. Air dodges up. Nice drift. PK Fire not able to come out. Really like the use of Splatty and his, his uh, shield. His, uh, his Magnet? Uh, yeah. Shield. Yeah. yeah. Really, I'm trying to use that, but using that means extra air, air time. Doesn't seem to be really helping that much right now, though. Yeah, not right now. Ooh, tries to get that down smash. Um, he's just been taking a lot of hits and hasn't been able to answer for it, really. Um, aside from that first game and that last stock. Ooh, got him with the um, with the reflector because of the fact that Fox is like I mean, Falco's goes out on like uh, Fox and Wolves. It could definitely throw you off. Ooh, nice use of the down smash, but the air dodge actually saves Dexon, okay, and that's ends up healthy up there. Any hit right now though could just send Splatterpuss right into the blast zone, so he might try and play a little risky. Oh, there it is, back here. Return. All right, both players at even. Dexon now trying to take it away. Nice use of uh, runoff in the back air by Splatterpuss to get a bit of damage. But now he's getting caught here by Thexon, and a lot of damage sends him off stage. There's the recovery. Ooh, the multi down tilts. One of the fastest moves in the game. Ooh. Oh, nice wall jump. Oh, the yo yo not taking. I'm actually kind of surprised that didn't happen. Yeah. Ooh, nice use of the reflector! Oh my gosh. Back air. It was reflector side B in the back air. That was very nice by Thexen. Still sitting pretty comfortably with percentage. Is this Blatter puts his last stock? Double front air. Oh, he tried it. Ooh. Gotta be careful of those platforms. Really wanting that down smash is Thexen. I, I don't know if I agree with that use of the magnet there, but he is able to get the grab throw. Able to work. I mean, I feel like some people might forget, but uh, Ness has a very powerful throw, which can easily kill at pretty low percentages, all things considered. Um, so any good amount of damage... Ooh, there it was again. Oh, he's got him off stage. DK Thunder. Ooh, 
I think went too low. I didn't. Maybe he didn't know exactly where he was. This is bad for him. He's gonna be sent off stage, but he's got a platform below him. So that up tilt. I think a good back air will kill Splatterpus. Who gets him out of shield? Oh, the back air, and that's it. Splatterpus loses to Vexen two to one. Very good efforts. That last one really gave him areas. Yeah. Um, I do really like what we saw by uh, Splatopus, De especially near the end there, using those grabs a bit more, getting a lot of those uh, that damage up. It's just he wasn't able to finish it off, wasn't able to get that last grab that he would have needed. And uh, Thex uh, Thexen 